How are you? Welcome. This is the journey of Mila Lifestyle. Morning moments, madness, and meditations. I still get to say morning because a lot of you are in California. So I, I think I've kind of, I think we've kind of found our sweet spot, right, at this time. But I can't commit to it because I gotta be me. I gotta be free to be me. But um, again, my name is Camila Tibbetts. Welcome. If you're just joining us or if you're new, we have so many people that have continued to come on board and walk this path with us because this is something that we're doing together. So. My name is Camila Tibbetts. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I have in the past um, launched and scaled two brands, um, and this is the journey of Mila Lifestyle. And Mila Lifestyle is a lifestyle e-commerce site that I recently launched, um, I think it was in early November. And these meditations really started as me wanting to include you and invite you on the journey of launching a startup, right? And like what was going on and the madness around that and really sharing like all the tools, tricks, challenges, trials that happen. And we were able to do that and it was such, it was so great. But once the website launched, and I thank you so much for all of your support, all of your orders, all of your encouragement. But once the website launched, there's still more in that journey, right? And a lot of you, um, I think we decided as a community that this is something that we want to continue to do. And you know, my heart was really to take you behind the veil of an entrepreneur, to kind of show you the challenges, per, you know, because I feel like personal and professional, there's always a tension between the two. Um, one is not, it's not always equally strong. We give and take a lot, it's, especially with our own personal self-development. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to show you what it's like that what it's like for a person to you know have a life change to move across countries to start a new business and all the things that come with that and it's super transparent and uncomfortable but you know what? i look forward to it every day so thank you for joining me um, again this is our journey together i i actually look forward to you know throughout my morning i have certain things i do every morning in terms of orders exercise what have you and this morning i had a dmv appointment because it's official like i'm a New Yorker, I turned in my California driver's license uh, at, at, and exchanged it for a New York license. And it was such a big moment to me. Like, I mean, I was the only person in the DMV, but I like born and bred, like California. You can count how many times I'm going to say like in this IG video. I'm always smiling, super chatty, like all the things we think about when we think about California culture. So I was born and raised um, in California. This is my first time living anywhere else. So it was it was a moment and it kind of made it official, right? Like even though I was here, um, it kind of made it official like this this is this is where I'm going to be planted and this is where I feel like I'm called to be planted. So yeah, it's official. I'm going to have a New York license. I won't have a New York car, but you know, baby steps. Anyway, so that's what's going on today. I was thinking about what I'm going to talk to you about, and it's Giving Tuesday, so I'm sure you've seen it on um, Instagram and throughout the hashtags, but bigger than the hashtag, it's just a really a day that businesses and organizations um, identify a place, an organization, a person to really give back to. So if you head over to at Mila.Lifestyle, you can see that we have chosen um, as a company to uh, partner with The Dwelling Place. and. I really like local, like that's important to me, especially being newly planted. So the dwelling place is a safe haven for women and children um, when they're fleeing domestic violence. So head over to um, our Instagram to, to read more and, and see how we are um, using our platform and using what we have and um, the gifts that we've been given and our growth as a brand, as a new brand to really uh, partner with a local organization that's that's close to our heart. Um, so, you know, I started, I, I wasn't gonna start a series because I feel like a series is like a commitment. Um, but you know, we started last week, and uh, when you go to Instagram, you can you can you can create a series, and you can just make it an everyday live. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna call this week's series "Finish Strong" because I feel like it's the end of the year, and you know, we all have our thoughts about 2020. But you know, I really want us to finish strong as a community, and I really want to encourage you in that way. So if you didn't join us yesterday, if you missed it, our two meditations yesterday were, were one, discipline will carry you and motivation won't. And what does that mean? Like we wake up, we chop wood, we carry water. We carry out the discipline of doing the same thing, even though we don't feel like it on the inside. You know, motivation is definitely a feeling and motivation is great. Like I'm motivated in so many ways, 
but I can't rest on my 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 motivation when things get tough or I, you know I have to rest on you know the discipline that I've always done like that's you know you know we talk about athletes have that muscle memory right like they're just things that their muscle just remembers because of the discipline that they have as an athlete and I would encourage us that we are creating some disciplines um, with even just joining this is a discipline even just coming together you know for these morning meditations like it's a discipline and I'm sure throughout the day I would hope that you remember some of these meditations and you, you're not even aware that you're putting them into practice because it's really something we're doing together so okay one yesterday our meditation was as discipline will carry you and motivation will and the second meditation was you know let's end out the year with a bigger expression of, of who we are right like I really want to encourage you you know I'm really big on voice expression being authentic like at Mila lifestyle it's all about being like creating a home and a home environment to be reflective of you of who you are in the world that when you're in your home you're the you're, you're the exact same way and and however that looks for you that you can define that and identify it for yourself so those are our two meditations, and I thought, you know what? This week our series is gonna be finished strong. And I was um, having a meeting with my team yesterday, and they were talking to me about how a lot of people are uncomfortable with, with making a New Year's resolution. And we're, we're gonna to touch on that later in the month, but I, I would really think about instead of having a resolution, uh, for because of, because of the, I guess people feel apprehensive because of, 2020 has been so much unknown, but I would encourage you, let's let's start to think about, and we'll touch on, we'll drill this down a little later in the month, but let's start to think about having a declaration for the new year, where we're declaring um, what we want, we're declaring what we want in ourselves and standing strong in that versus a resolution, right? So let, we're setting the stage for that. We're like making the markers and we're creating stepping stones for you know these declarations that we'll do as a community um, at the end of the month. So two meditations today what are they so first of all you can see if you can't see i have on a little sparkle because like you know what you know when i have on a red lip like something's up right like you always feel better if you have on a red lip and you always feel better if you have a little sparkle on and the reason why you wear a little sparkle is because we're gonna have an uncomfortable conversation like i had a, a very wise woman in my life and um she would always like if things were if she had to talk to someone about something she would preface it with we're, we're gonna have an uncomfortable conversation. So I thought if I put on a little sparkle, it would be nice to look at. So when we're talking, you know, the sparkle will overshadow what may come up. And the, and, and the reason why I say that is because our first meditation today is called, is, is the exposure. And what do I mean by that? I'm saying some things have come up for you like in this season, right? There's some things have come up for you with what's going on in our world, what's going on in your personal life, professional life. And what happened when we went into quarantine or when we were, you know, in our homes and we were still, it was like, you know how sometimes like you could just be busy 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 and like there's all this there's like this undercurrent of emotions and feelings like going on but you're so busy you're moving you're doing this you're doing that you really don't have to like identify what that is and then what happens lockdown right so now we're inside we're alone with our thoughts with our feelings and it all starts to bubble up right and then some people have used different things to deal with that healthy or not that's your business but what I want to encourage you is like, let's really start to, let's pull the bandaid off this morning and let's really look at and expose those areas that we kind of need some to take a look at, that we need some healing around, that we need to get some help with, that we just need to be accountable in. And you, I'm not going to say, hey, hey, put that in the chat. Like that's not, this is for you to like have an honest conversation with yourself about that. I know in my life there were times where I, I knew I couldn't fix what I couldn't fix, right? I knew I needed help in areas of my life and I couldn't do it on my own. Even though, you know, I was a powerhouse in all these other arenas, there were some things that I was like, I need to expose this and get honest about it so I can get the help that I need. And the most, you know, successful leaders, you know, wealth, wealth in terms of like monetary, but also in terms of richness of spirit, they know how to ask for help. So what I'm encouraging, what our meditation today is like, let's expose a few things, right? Let's expose those things that came up for us during 2020. Like let's expose those relationships that we just cut off that we need to have another conversation about. Let's expose like how we deal with confrontation. Like let's let's expose that fear, that touch, you know, a lot of us are have like 
a touch deficit, right? Like let's let's talk about that because what when 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 we're pulling the band-aid off of that and when we're really looking at that this morning, um, that meditation of exposing those things like those tender parts of our heart, then we can start to address it and and uh, put it on the shelf and heal it so we can be stronger in going into the new year, right? Because I can guarantee like each one of us have had some things come up that we didn't know happened because this kind of, like if you're a person that is used to having things in a certain order, i.e. mwah, like I, I'm strategic. I like to know what's gonna happen. And you know what, That that that's not where we're at today. But by exposing it and putting words to it and putting voice to it, you hear me talk about voice a lot, by putting words to it and, and putting voice to it, it doesn't become like these thoughts that are bullying me like in the wee hours of the morning, right? Or these thoughts when I'm alone and you know I end that Zoom call and the smile leaves that I have all these things that come up. So our first meditation this morning is um, the exposure. Like let's expose those things, let's pull the band-aid, let's like talk about it, let's write it down. Um, you know, what I always like to do in my life is like I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. So if there's an area of, of, of my life that I want to grow in or that I know I need to go to the next level in, I, I list it and then identify who in my life has had victory in this area, right? And it, and it could be anything, like who in my life has had victory or has had some healing around walking through divorce? Who has had some healing and has walked through sending kids off to college? Who has, you know, got the victory with losing weight? Like, you know what I mean? Like all the things, like, right? Like who can, <laughs> I'm just gonna go down a tangent that doesn't need to happen, but like who has had success in this area? You identify who that is. And then um, once you identify who that is, then like you go after that person. And there's some, like humility is such a powerful thing of saying like, I don't know, I think you do, can you help me? You know, and people are so willing to help you if you can humble yourself. I think the most dangerous things the most dangerous thing, especially in this season, is like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it myself. You know, I remember my kids like, like, I do it myself, I do it myself. It's like, no, you don't have to do it yourself. You know, because you don't, you're how you got yourself into this situation. So, you know, definitely like look at that let's expose some things and let's and let's move into 2021 where we we can expose it we can heal from heal from it we can get some solution around it and keep going so that's our first meditation this morning is um the exposure our second meditation this morning is the sound over you and what do i mean by that so you know on our meditations i talk a lot about your voice i talk a lot about strengthening your voice i talk a lot about being authentic with your voice. I talk a lot about, you know, there's sometimes you're going to roar and there's sometimes you're going to whimper and like how to create a safe place to do all those because, you know, our voice changes as seasons change, right? Like, you know, our, our, how we communicate, what we need, how we need to protect ourselves, how we need to be in community, how we need to have partnership, those change all the time. And hopefully the people around you are changing with you, right? Like that is that is our hope, right? But even with even in that, it's like, what is the sound around you? Um, what is that sound over you that you want going into 2021? Because I would encourage you, and I am here because I truly believe that all the emotions, everything we're exposing, everything we've walked through in this season, that it is preparing you. We talked about that muscle memory earlier. Like it is preparing you in a way that you may not even be able to put words to so what do you want the sound over you to be going into 2021 like what are the boy who are the voices that you want speaking into your life who where where in your life do you give permission to to humble yourself and have some leadership and your mentor around like you know even when you're in a valley or on you're on a hike and you're in an unfamiliar place you always need a guide and you know like i i'm not saying that i am that guide i'm saying let's create let's find our guides let's find what works for each of us but let's still come together and walk through this terrain together right like let's walk this road together like let's climb the mountain together and in order for us to do that we need to expose some things we need to be honest about some things 
and then we need to let our voices become stronger. And I feel like when our voices become stronger, then that's the roar, right? And that when our voices become stronger, then our voice and who we are and the power of that drowns out defeat, right? It dr when the winds come, it drowns off, it drowns out the winds, it drowns out the waves. Like it, it creates a momentum and a strength that will create a platform for us of going into the new year. So yes, was 2020 full of uncertainty? Yes. Was it full of unrest? Yes. But the question today is, what am I going to expose in my life today that I can heal from, that I can get grounded in, that I can humble myself and get some direction in so I can create that powerful sound over me going into 2021? So, okay, what were our two meditations? Just to circle back. One is the exposure that we're, we want to expose some things today, write them down, get some help in some areas, some leadership, some direction, whatever that means for you. You know, you can't fix what you can't fix and that's okay. So the first meditation is the exposure. Uh, the second meditation is the sound over you. And, and I would encourage you that you, there is a mighty sound, a mighty war that will come if we do all the things together. Like I'm not just saying this at you, I'm saying this with you because I'm going through that as well. And if we can expose those soft, tender places, and if we can create a beautiful sound that will carry us into 2021, there is a rich treasure that 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 is awaiting. So I want to thank you for joining me on the journey of Mila Lifestyle. We will finish this year strong. We will finish this year as a community we will finish this year exposing the tender areas but also healing those together we will finish this year with a mighty sound and a mighty roar that will carry us into the treasure of what the new year has so thank you for joining me ciao for now bye